all right, I know Grant Cardone. Let's go as if I'm there. And uh, the lady said, all right, keep your hand raised. If you do everything that he says to do and you know you've done everything that you can, put your hand down if you haven't done it. I was like, oh, shit. I know I haven't done it all. I know there's plenty of things the people I look up to say and don't do. She said, okay, put your hand back up. Look at your hand. Okay, here it is. Think of all the people that you're hurting or helping by not doing what you should be doing. Do you think people will vote for me? Let's get it. All right. I'm honestly doing this podcast as just a test. I'm updating my equipment and making sure I am ready to handle the next step for the Small Business Uncensored podcast. This is impromptu because I just received some of my stuff. So I have now set up a better setup to have guests, multiple guests, up to four um, for not only microphones, um, but also headphones and for it to all run really well. The second thing I'm doing is testing my voiceover stuff because as a few of you know, when I sync my good audio from my Logic that's on my Mac to when I film off my iPhone, it doesn't sync all the time. Now here's why I'm testing this. From my Nikon that's sitting right next to my iPhone to get different angles, which I've always wanted to do and can definitely do. I'm capable of doing it. It's not that hard. The Nikon syncs up with the audio perfectly, but my iPhone did not. Even though they're all recording at 60 frames per second, there's something that happens from my iPhone to iMovie, the software I use to edit the video and put the sound over it. Something was happening. I did a ton of fucking research the last couple of weeks figuring out what it was. I'm at about my fifth try on something and it hasn't worked yet. Today I received um, for the iPhone. Uh, on the iPhone it's connected with an SD card slot. All right, so I have the adapter for that now. So I'm hoping that that file goes right to the SD card, right to here, and there's no loss of frames, which I believe is slowing it down when I import it directly off the SD card in iMovie. So that's what I'm testing with this current video. If that doesn't work, I'm going to go to my Nikon and run and make it continuously run on the DSLR cameras. That gives you the really clear picture. It's fairly easy to use, but uh, gives you better quality. It's a nice camera. You can't run video for more than 10 minutes consecutively unless you have it on a continuous power source and a large SD card, which I have, but it needs one more piece, which I did not get yet, hoping that this iPhone works. The reason why the iPhone works is because so many people have them. You can just set two up. That person, your guest, has their full video recorded. They can use it, splice it, cut it, post it however they want to. Um, but then also I can import both of those as the same um, visual file because I iPhones record in the same way. So then I can uh, just quick airdrop that or what I'm going to do is use my SD card, rip both of those off so then I can do that quick edit afterwards, which takes me just a couple of hours. But with the iPhone, you don't got to adjust anything. Nikon, iPhone, you kind of get a little bit of a different picture. Um, so what I've done with that is just use cool black, black and gray edits with either or just to see whichever one works out better to give the contrast because the picture wouldn't end up the same anyway. Um, and then since I'm not in some high level editing program, it's just easier to do it that way. But with the iPhone, you don't have to do that. So test number one on my audio equipment. Perfect. So I bought all the right shit and it worked. Um, this is the second test on the video. I really hope it works. Um, if it doesn't, I got one more thing to do with the Nikon. If that doesn't work, I will fucking hire somebody because I believe in the podcast taking off. I believe in my own podcast. I believe in the shit I have to say is valuable to people because I wish that I had it when I was coming up. So I'm putting it out there. Um, I also believe that interacting with more dope people is going to be the ticket to the next level as I've seen from all of my mentors and everyone else that I look up to. So that's what I'm doing. So to give you guys some actual valuable content out of that, um, after my quick update of what the fuck's going on with my shit, I want to talk about something I was scrolling on TikTok, looking for uh, some inspiration, what I want to do and kind of how I'm doing my stuff. I came across a guy that was at a seminar and somebody came to the stage that he didn't know. And uh, he instantly said, 
Who in here knows Grant Cardone? So that piqued his attention. It would catch mine as well. He's like, of course I know Grant Cardone. They said, okay, do you know what he teaches? Have you read his books? Do you listen to his shit? Yeah, of course I do. Raise your hand if you do. What's that? And I do this stuff, even when I'm watching. All right, I know Grant Cardone. Let's go, as if I'm there. And uh, the lady said, all right, keep your hand raised if you do everything that he says to do and you know you've done everything that you can. Put your hand down if you haven't done it. I was like, oh, shit. I know I haven't done it all. I know there's plenty of things the people I look up to say and don't do. She said, okay, put your hand back up. Look at your hand. Okay, here it is. Think of all the people that you're hurting or helping by not doing what you should be doing. All right, you, maybe you have yourself, right? Could you do better for yourself? Probably. The answer probably is always yes, including for myself. I won't bullshit. Of course I could do more and better. What about your spouse, your kids? Who are you hurting if you don't do your absolute best to provide for them? Okay. What about um, your employees, um, people that work with you, the future people that you want to work with? If you're not doing everything that you can do at the best that you can put out, you're probably not going to work with them either. So all these things cascade and lead to you either helping or hurting yourself. And generally, we all know what we should and shouldn't be doing. We all know what we could do better, what we should spend more time on, the pain points that we can work on. But oftentimes we find that we don't do that. Why is that? Well, for one, it is fucking hard. For two, we might not know But what I always go back to is that you can always find the answer or generally ask somebody, find a YouTube video, go to Google, read a book, listen to a podcast, and you'll probably get a little bit more clarity. You might not get the full answer. Of course, no one's going to give you the fucking answer unless they're your business partner or your mentor. They've been through it, your spouse that's helping you with it. But you can generally get pretty close. And then, which entrepreneurship is, is developing your own plan forward with that information. Um. I like to give examples. So something I've done in the business, my new franchise stuff, I don't know. I didn't know what to do with that. Um, But I had a great meeting with a huge franchise firm, learned some stuff. I read the book uh, that they gave me. I read another franchise book and another franchise book. Then I researched franchise and what to do. And then I applied it. Okay. And it wasn't right at first. And I refined it and I got better. Then I learned a little more and it got better. So when you listen to the mentors or read a book or something, fucking apply that. All right, because we all know that there's information, unlimited information out there. But why aren't more people using it, succeeding, um, going all in, doing whatever it takes? So that's another thing. So this is, again, part of this exact topic is me wanting to up my podcast and making it better, making it better for my people that listen, um, my fucking tribe, but making it better when the guests come on. Because I always think about, okay, if I have my high level guests on, and that's why partially I've waited because it's not where I need to be because I'm testing it out. Have I done everything possible to make it as best as possible an experience for them? And at the level at which they function at, is it actually at a high level that they can be happy with what I put out that not only has them on it, but that they can use? Are they comfortable using what I have? Is it the best stuff? The reason I'm doing that because that's the level I want to get to in my life. All right. And so I just recently put more money into this. All right. Thank God my wife is supportive and allows me some fucking freedom. And um, actually, she allows me fucking tons of freedom because I allow that for her, too. It's what works for us um, to put the money in, do what we got to do, see what fucking works and waste a shitload of time. Not a waste, but put a ton of time into learning the shit and getting it right. Um, Without that, I wouldn't be able to do half of this. All right. So. Tidbits from today, I will always do the same things I'm telling you guys to do. Either I have done it or I am doing it. Um, I will, am willing to put my money where my fucking mouth is because I keep investing in the things that I'm doing and making them better. And I will always give you the best fucking product that I can, not only for myself, advice, quality content, and then eventually, very soon, quality guests that give back to you guys and give you some fucking thing um, to look forward to. And I do have several on my, on my list on deck that I know will be fucking awesome. All right. I'm going to start with a couple uh, pretty soon to kind of get, get, get it going and uh, a lot more. to. And I have my dog ACE. I hope you guys like animals as much as I do. 
I appreciate you guys. I'm going to cut this one off here and see what happens. Let's All right, y'all. I am back with an update. The last one I filmed a couple days ago, and I was talking about my new equipment and all that. Well, it didn't work. Now, what happened was it actually did work, but not because of the equipment that I bought. It worked because I did more research after it didn't work that showed me one more trick to do on iMovie to get the audio to sync properly with the video. And I did it. So <laughs> going through the progression of these things, you figure out what works and what doesn't work. So I got it all done, took it off. I was like, oh, hell yeah, this is going to work. And it didn't. Then I said, okay, take my time, step back, let it go. Because I was getting real worked up about the shit, right? Of course, it's a lot of time, money, investment, and you want to get it right, right? So I have high expectations of myself. And when I can't do something, that makes me upset. Um, so I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to step back from this. Um, let me readdress it uh, in a day or two, which is today, Easter. Happy Easter if you celebrate. And I uh, jumped back on there, ran down the YouTube rabbit hole about trying to figure this out. Try, 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 test, 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 delete, try, delete, try. And then it worked. So I did figure it out. It is not the best way that I want to do it. I still want to use my Nikon with continuous recording and the really good camera. Um, if if that is not possible, I do know what to do now, and it is better. I'm halfway confident that I can use this new method for my next guest that should be about one to two weeks from today, from Easter. So we're looking like the first week of May, I will have the next guest on. And that will still be another test to make sure that it works fully. Um, so far it does, and it will. But again, I appreciate you guys. And as I talked about in some of the content portion of that video, I'm always willing to do it. I got up this morning at about 5.30 a.m. to try and get this shit done and practice and put out the last piece of this content before Easter and before you know the day gets on. I'm not wasting anybody else's time besides mine, but I am always willing to do whatever it takes to figure it the fuck out. That is what it takes. I posted today on my Instagram, do not be timid with your life's ambition. Do not be timid towards your goals. Do not be timid in trying things, okay? If you want something out of life, desire something out of life, you have people to take care of, fucking do it and figure it out because there is a reward that will come from the hard work and the effort that you put forth. If nothing else, it's good karma that you are working towards a worthy goal that you think will work. And in that, that is success and worthy. And also from that might actually come something else that you do not expect to come because you are doing it, putting yourself out there, trying, and it will just put you in another space. All right. So I'm going to finish it up there. I appreciate you guys. I just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, let's get it. Robert Pepo, please follow on all social medias. I appreciate you guys. Please check out Pepo subs next time. Let's get it. Do you think people will vote for me?